take a shot every time he says rip off, you'll have a heck of a night. No, 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 stop. That, that's just way too much. So, I just really want to start off this video by saying thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. Honestly, to me, it's a milestone and it definitely means a lot. And from my channel kind of being a bit on a slouch to kind of just gaining 3,000 subscribers, it's really absolutely amazing to see and it kind of lifts my spirits to wanting to make more videos. Now with that being said, I apologize for no videos being made in this past week, a well, week and a half at least right now. It's kind of my fault, I'm a bit lazy and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, for today's video, we're going to be responding to a few comments and um, video that was made on this whole topic, Halo 6 Infinite Warfare game comparisons. Now, this video pretty much did help me gain a few subscribers, or a lot of subscribers, and it did uh, gain a lot of views, and I definitely think that I should respond to some of the comments, some of the videos that are made, because there's a lot of uh, debate going on this topic. I mean, myself personally, I gained um, 21,000 views, and... Another fellow Halo YouTuber, Uber Nick, has gained 200,000 views, and this whole topic has just been kind of just going big in the Halo community. And there's a lot of people that have been uh, voicing their opinions and stuff like that. And honestly, there's a few things that I need to clear up because, honestly, in my video, there were a few things that I said that might have been uh, a bit wrong, such as kind of uh, using the word ripoff, just way too much, way too much, anyways. But yeah, so. Let's kind of dive into this video and uh, look at some of the comments. So I kind of want to start off by addressing a comment that was made by Halo Cannon. Pretty much he started off by saying that the only place where you can see Infinite Warfare ripping off Halo and he emphasizes might is with the Vanquisher emblem. The Vanquisher is suspiciously close to the classic Halo Reach piece of concept art. Regarding the other claims though, the excavation armor design wise looks more like something out of Dead Space to him. The only similarities to George's are the colors, the heavy weapon, and the bulky build. The Mantis in Halo isn't a very original design. It's a basically a Halo Metal Gear. Then the Pelican, the Halo Pelican, and much of Halo's classic designs were ripped from Alien. The UNSC is basically a ripoff of the Colonial Marines, and the Pelican is a ripoff of the Colonial Marine dropship. Honestly, it just looks like Infinite Warfare is taking inspiration from Halo, the same way Halo did from Aliens. So one thing I really want to start off by saying is yes, I've used the word ripoff honestly way too much in my last video and a more suitable word would have probably been inspiration. Now one thing I'm going to back up right now is that the Vanquisher emblem is a ripoff and I'm going to use ripoff as more concrete than uh, some of the other claims that I'm going to be making right now. Honestly if you look at the Vanquisher emblem and you look at the Halo Reach concept art, they look completely identical. I mean the colors of like the characters in there the way the poses like there's a guy with a chain gun a guy with a dmr there's a guy that's like fighting um another guy and it just looks exactly identical to it now one arg one argument that a lot of people were saying in that video and some of the comments was that pretty much the vanquisher emblem was taken for black ops 3 that's still not an excuse black ops 3 is still newer than halo reach if anything it just says that black ops 3 ripped off halo reach and honestly, it's still Call of Duty, so either way, Halo Reach was still ripped off. The Vanquisher Emblem was still a ripoff of pretty much the Halo Reach concept art. So moving on to the Pelican and many of Halo's classic designs that were inspired by Alien and many sci-fi shooters, one thing that you're constantly usually able to tell is what distinguishes Halo from many of these sci-fi shooters. I mean, you can see the inspiration, however, there are a lot of distinguished things that you can tell from pretty much the Warhammer 40k dropship the aliens dropship and pretty much halo's pelican i mean there's a lot of things that distinguish what belongs to what however if you look at pretty much the call of duty dropship and you compare it to the halo one there's literally nothing that you can distinguish from the two i mean if i was to literally take the call of duty pelican photoshop it out and put it in a halo background and post it on halo waypoint or whatever forms I'm pretty sure I could fool a lot of Halo players into thinking that this is a UNSC dropship. So honestly to me, this is really, really, really similar and it could be said as it, it was an inspiration, however to me and to many players it looks like a complete ripoff by Call of Duty. 
So one thing I'm going to say about the excavation armor is the whole heavy weaponry and the whole bulky build is not an exclusive thing to Halo, and I'll admit that right now. A lot of military sci-fi shooters use the whole bulky build and heavy weaponry in their games. However, the way Call of Duty presented the excavation armor, it looks honestly as if they were trying to appeal to the Halo audience. I mean, you have literally the armor colors, you have the chain gun, and the way it was like posed and positioned. It honestly felt like Call of Duty was honestly trying to pretty much appeal to the Halo players, draw them into their own game. And to that, it's pretty much a ripoff. I mean, you compare these uh, two armors, like George's Spartan armor and this whole excavation armor by a side-by-side -side comparison, you can just see that, like, literally, it's like George is in Call of Duty. So Call of Duty, in a ways, did rip off George's armor by appealing, trying to appeal the Halo audience to Call of Duty. Now moving on to the Mantis, I'm going to agree right, right now 100% that the Mantis isn't a very original design whatsoever. Honestly, when it comes to military sci-fi shooters, it's going to be very common that you're going to see a lot of mechs. And now the whole argument between the Mantis being ripped off from Call of Duty, I can't really say is a, a valid argument whatsoever. Now as I stated in my last video, another thing that a lot of people also were talking about was the whole design of the Halo 5 rocket. And one thing that I said was that the Halo 5 rocket is just a basic design to any military weaponry. Honestly, Call of Duty's military uh, rocket has a lot of stuff that looks like Halo's military rocket. And Halo's military rocket looks like a lot of stuff that the military has. Now one thing I'll say right now is if Call of Duty had a rocket that looked exactly like the Spanker or even similar to the Spanker, we can definitely say that it's a ripoff because Halo's Spanker rocket is honestly one of a kind. So pretty much there was another video that was released that was titled Why Halo Fans Are Idiots Angry Rant Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Steals from Halo Response. And this video was mainly targeted to Uber Nick, however it was still, he still mentioned myself and Reflex Halo in it, hence the reason why I'm responding to this video. Now honestly this video was really hard to watch as it was really unorganized and it honestly felt like I don't know, he's just really calling myself Reflex Halo and uh, Uber Nick a bunch of names in it. But the only main two points that he really brought up were the designs of the Pelican the Halo Ring. And he also did talk about um, the Space Marines, but no one was really um, comparing the Marines whatsoever in um, our videos at all. But pretty much his uh, main argument on the Pelican I've already discussed in Halo Cannon's comment. In which, uh, if you were to compare the Halo Pelican to the Call of Duty Pelican, there's nothing there to pretty much distinguish what they uh, what they are. I mean, they look exactly the same. However, if you if you were to compare the Halo Pelican to um, the Warhammer dropship or the Alien dropship, you can tell what belongs to which, and you can tell which one is Halos. So, another thing that he also talked about was the whole design of the map and. Um, how these maps are already in some of these other older games and honestly in my video I did not really um, talk about the whole map design at all I just pretty much said that um, yeah there's nothing really there to say like yeah it's a copy from Halo so I didn't really um, agree that it was a copying I just actually disagreed that uh, Halo was copying uh, Infinite Warfare with the map design but he still proceeded to comment on my video talking about the Pelican and the Halo ring when <laughs> I even stated in my video that there's nothing there to compare them, so I was agreeing with him on there and he's still trying to argue that. So it just shows that he's completely ignorant, he didn't watch my video, he just literally went there to comment on it and just leave. And honestly, if you even watch his video, he even says that he didn't even watch my video yet. So <laughs> he's just completely ignorant, he's calling me out and he didn't even watch my video. Ugh, this guy. So, as I said, it's unorganized, and he likes to say that he pretty much backed up a lot of his um, statements with facts, but if you didn't watch my video, why are you accusing me <laughs> of some of the stuff that um, you're stating in here? But, yeah, this video was a big mess. Honestly, I've already kind of uh, talked about some other stuff that um, Halo Cannon mentioned, and he did even agree with the Vanquisher emblem that it literally looks like um, the one from Halo Reach. And for the whole George armor, he even agreed that was one as well. And if he was really so uptight with uh, gathering the research and looking up all this stuff, he would have known that the that the whole armor that uh, looks like George's in Call of Duty was actually a skin or even a Photoshop design. So that is kind of my response to his video. <laughs> now at the end of the day, 
those were pretty much the main two people I really wanted to reply to and address in this video as they covered the points for everybody else that was commenting in this video. But one thing I really want to state right now is the whole grand scheme of things that me, Reflex Halo, and Ubernick were talking about is if you look at the whole point or the whole thing of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it's like they're trying to appeal to the Halo fans, they're trying to rip off and steal some stuff from Halo or even take inspiration from Halo that way they could attract the audience into their own game. And one thing that's also a big similarity that I didn't really mention or Reflex Halo or myself really talked about was pretty much the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare campaign. There's a YouTuber that's out there called Hidden Xperia, which is way bigger than all of us, and he pretty much uh, compared the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare to Halo lore, and honestly, it's really shocking how similar these are. I mean, a lot of the stuff that are happening in the Infinite Warfare um, campaign is stuff that has been taken literally from the Halo camp or the Halo lore. So I'd highly go recommend you guys check out Hidden Xperia's video on the whole topic, and he addressed this video months before any of us did. So. It's really something you gotta go look at as he even compared some characters, main characters that uh, Halo had and now are kind of appearing in Infinite Warfare. But yeah, that is kind of my response to uh, these two people and some of the stuff that a lot of you guys have been talking about. It's absolutely amazing to see a lot of you guys come together and kind of talk about the whole issue. I mean, I've seen a lot of people that have been emailing uh, developers such as 343 or even Activision or actually no, Inf Infinity Ward, my bad, about these whole topics. And honestly, to me, I feel like there's nothing that's going to be done about this. I don't think there can anything can be done with this because at the end of the day, Halo did take inspiration from other games, however Call of Duty is like going beyond taking inspiration and just literally kind of just copying and pasting some stuff that Halo had into their own game. Which is why a lot of us YouTubers such as Reflex Halo, Uber Nick, um, myself and Hidden Xperia just pretty much said that um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is stealing from Halo. But yeah, that is kind of my response video. What do you guys think about some of the replies? If you guys have any more questions, I'll probably reply to you guys in the comments below. But my name is Debatable Halo HD, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.